Hi everyone, it's Catherine and it's time for another daily Christian quote. Yeah, I know I'm not doing these every day, but they're from my website called Daily Christian Quote. And you can also join the Facebook group. There's no strings attached with that group. I just put the quotes there because I can load them in advance and people want to share the quotes and they can do that pretty easily there as well. So today's quote is from a guy, could be a gal named G.C. Lichtenberg. And I got this quote from an old devotional from the 1920s called Streams in the Desert. And yeah, it's written in a little bit old language, but if you can get a hold of that, it is one powerful devotional book. I don't have a copy of it myself anymore. But here's a quote. Never undertake anything for which you wouldn't have the courage to ask the blessings of heaven. I am not a huge risk taker. Uh, that may sound surprising because I was in missions and I have gone on trips when I felt God was telling me to go somewhere. But all in all, I am not a risk taker and the older I get, the less risks I want to take. So I'm kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum as you might think this quote is going. However, never undertake anything. I believe that not doing something is just as disobedient as doing something when God has asked you not to do that particular thing. So if I'm saying, oh, I'm not going to do anything, I really cannot expect God to pour his blessings into me when I'm being disobedient. To now, I have some friends. Now, I have some friends who are risk takers. And I have some friends who do a lot of impulsive things. It's just part of their personality. They like to fly by the seat of their pants. A couple of those people have got a little bit of a tendency towards addictive behavior. And I'm going to try to be as general as I possibly can be, not to point any fingers, but they have confessed to me that they have asked God to turn the other way when they were about to go do something that they knew that they shouldn't be doing. Or they were not going to do something that they knew that God was asking them to do and they were asking God, ah, can we just forget about that and can you please bless me anyhow? It's not that God wants to punish us. He's not out there to punish us. He doesn't ask us to be obedient to him because he wants to make sure he has us all following the company line, so to speak, and we're following all the rules and regulations. No, when he asks us to do something or not to do something, he knows of the consequences that will happen if we do or we don't do that action. Some of those consequences aren't so good and other consequences are incredible. You give out of the generosity of your heart and God blesses you. You're stepping out in obedience to the Lord and the Lord is blessing you back. But when you deliberately step out of disobedience and then you have the audacity to say to God, God, will you please bless and protect me even when I'm about to do something that I know that I shouldn't be doing? That's really being pretty cocky, don't you think? And God is merciful, he is loving, he is caring, he wants to protect us, he wants to guide us, he wants to bless us. But when we deliberately walk out of the door of the blessing house, if you want to put it that way, when we walk away from him and deliberately make decisions that we know go against the best he has for us, we cannot be blaming God when things don't go according to plan. God's there to help us pick up the pieces, but he would rather that we don't live shattered lives because of the deliberate decisions that we make that go against God's word and goes against God's best for our heart and God's best for those around us. So here's a quote again. 
If you're thinking of doing something or not doing something and you know that decision is not the right one, remember this. Never undertake anything for which you wouldn't have the courage to ask the blessings of heaven. That can be something small, like going for that pint of ice cream, or it can be something big, like cheating on your taxes. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.